What is going on guys and welcome to plugins and libraries video. In this video we're going to cover how to work with an animate CSS and wow GSS together. Now first thing that I want to show you is obviously that I'm working over here in this bootstrap template because it's a little bit easier for me to add all kinds of jumbotrons and all kinds of elements if I want to. So you can obviously work in just your regular HTML file. It doesn't really matter, but I'm, I'm using a bootstrap uh, starter template. So over here, if I just click a new bootstrap starter template, and uh, this is what I get. Well, I actually get some navigation and containers that I deleted, but in general, this is what you would get, right? A basic straightforward uh, file. So over here, you can see that I'm using brackets live preview. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our good old friend Google and over here I'm just going to write animate CSS over here like this. And if we just click it over here, we have an option of right away download animate CSS, which is going to be over here to your file. But since I have, since I want a animate min because I want it to be compact file, I will going to go over here to this view on GitHub, right? But just to show you, these are the things that we can actually do with Animate CSS, right? We have all kinds of animations that we can add, right? Where it's flipping or doing all kinds of stuff, right? So let's go over here with a view on GitHub. And first, this is going to be a pretty much explanation how to use it. So this is the file that we're actually looking for, right? We need to include it in the head, this min CSS. So I'm just going to copy this and go back to head and I'm just going to say that this is going to be a animate CSS over here. This is going to be my link and we'll just gonna copy and paste this for now right away. And what I want to do is actually download it, right? So if I go over here and clone or download, you can see that I have a download zip, right? So you just click over here. I already did it. If we go to the finder, you can see that this is my animate a CSS, right? This is going to be my zip, right? And once you open the zip, you have this folder over here, the master one. And over here, we just find the animate CSS. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it to my folder over here. So now if we go back to brackets, now you can see that I have a animate uh, min CSS, right? This is going to be my file. And if we go back to the index where we were actually working, that if I create, a, let's say, some kind of container, we can check it out what happens. Now, first, let's just go ahead. You can see over here where it says what we can do, right? So these are all our options. And again, this is, they were going to explain how we can work over here. Now, there's a couple of things that we can do. And the first thing is I want to create a container. But the way I'm going to create container, I'm actually going to work with a bootstrap extension over here. Just to show you, this is going to be my installed a bootstrap extension. This is going to be a boots ACB bootstrap snippets. And what I can do is I can just press it over here. Let's say three and I would want a jumbotron, right? And over here we have a jumbotron, right? So let's say that I'm going to add a couple of more of them, right? Over here again, Jumbotron. So I have two of them, right? And once we have animate CSS, only thing we need to do is actually like they explain over here, we need to add a class over here, animated bounce left, let's say, right? So here we just write a class because over here we already have a div with a class of Jumbotron. So we just add animated over here. And we just said that let's say that we want a bounce, right? So we're going to go back and you can see that this is the class we need to add, right? Flip in X or something like this, right? So if we just go back over here, we refresh and you can see that this one is bouncing, right? Now, if I would run a, again, I don't know, fade in, let's say left, you can see it's going to be fading in left. This one is going to have a animated. Okay. And I'm going to say that this is going to have like animated and it's going to be I don't know, flip in X, right? Flip in X, right? So now you can see that it's flipping X or just flip. You can see that it's being, it's going to be a flipping, right? And if we go back over here in the GitHub, we can obviously see the, all the explanations, right? 
So we can see again, we're going to start with adding to our sheet. Then this is going to be add the class animated to the element you want to animate, right? And if we want to be infinity, then we have the infinite, infinite loop, right? So over here, if I would just write infinite, infinite, right? And we'll just save it. What happens is that it all the times keep keeps happening, right? And the reason why I was sh showing you actually a this bootstrap um, extension, right? When I said that we can actually do it with a extra ACB bootstrap extensions. What we can also do is with this extension, we write over here BC3, and over here you can see animated CDN, right? So what it does, it automatically adds a CDN for this extension. So let's say even I would delete this link for my animate min CSS, right? Like this, and I would just save it. You can see, still see that it would be working because I have this CDN, right? So I can use that extension not only to create over here these divs, I can actually use it to actually get this CDN, right? I can get this CDN, so I didn't actually need to technically download this. I could have just done it a uh, normal way just by adding this CDN. And now let's check it out what, what we can do actually when we are actually working with WOW.js, which would be really good as we are actually scrolling up and down. Over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to again use this extension and I'm going to say that this is going to be, let's say, another Jumbotron, right? And maybe it's going to be easier if I'm just going to copy this a couple of times, right? So now I have a couple of Jumbotrons over here. You can see like this. And we're going to check it out what happens as we're actually scrolling up and down a page, right? And for that one, we're actually going to need a WOWGS. So I'm going to go back over here. And I'm going to leave the animate CSS and I'm going to go over here to wow GS, right? And over here we have a right away, a file that we want to use, right? Reveal animations. Just remember that you need to actually pay for it. So we can see this pricing. If you are actually doing something like if you're putting your uh, web page online, you need to actually pay them, right? Obviously for trying out and all that, it's for free. But just remember when you're actually dealing with real life projects, you will gonna have to pay some money, otherwise you can get in trouble, right? And this is what pretty much it shows uh, what we can do with it. As we're scrolling up and down a page, uh, the stuff is gonna be happening, right? And here we have a how to use it, right? And the first requirement is actually have a animate CSS. Now we already using a CDN over here like this one. This is our CDN, so we don't need to worry about it, but we need a wow min JS, right? So obviously the first thing what we need to do is obviously we need to download it, right? So we can go over here to GitHub or here like this. Then we have clone or download. We just say download zip. And then we just go over here and we have a wow, right? This is our zip and this is our folder, right? So we open up the folder and we need to look for a wow min JS, right? So we just look for the, where we have a file wow min JS, right? So it's over here. It was sitting in a dist, right? In this folder. So we just open up and what we want to do is we just want to, again, just uh, copy that file can close it over here these downloads and we can jump back over here to our uh, brackets so I'm just gonna close it over here this one for now and we're just gonna leave these ones so we can see what's happening right and you can see over here it says what things we should add so I'm just gonna copy this and we're just gonna go somewhere over here where we have our scripts so in between these ones well, we're just going to say that we would want a, let's say, to add this WOWGS, right? So I'm just going to make a room over here like this. I'm going to say that this is going to be WOWGS. And here we're going to uh, paste this, right? But since we can see that file is sitting right here, we don't need to actually tell the path. So we, over here we can just delete this. And obviously we should create a, for the large document, some kind of different file where this would be our, uh, the code would be over here, right? But for the small one, we don't really care. So we can just save it. 
and then we can go over here and we we can see what, what what we need to do right so the first one we always need to add a class of wow and then we need to class obviously add a animated css class all right so we go back over here let's say to our first div right and what we want to do is we want to delete this over here and we want to just say wow and we want to say again bounce let's say and this one we're going to say that this is going to be a i don't know something like uh i don't know flip or something like this so we're just going to copy this uh, to other jumbotron and we're going to paint him this is going to be bounce this is going to be also bounce but we're just going to say that this is going to be flip this is going to be zoom in zoom in over here like this and let's just save it right and here we can check it out once we refresh the page you can see this one is bouncing and that one should be zooming in but you can see i didn't make space so now this one is zooming in now the whole point of why we want to use a wow gs because i want these animations to happen as i'm actually scrolling up and down the page and i want to add some more uh, options to it right so we go back over here and again we're going to make this one a little bit bigger and if we just zoom out actually a little bit so we can see it better so we have how to use right and over here you will see that you actually have a couple of more options right you have slide in left but you have this data while duration data while delay data while offset and data while iteration so let's just copy them over here and let's just check it out what they are and how they actually help us right so this is going to be our file and i'm just going to copy this uh, over here like this now nothing is going to happen because obviously there's nothing in within these sections but let's check it out what happens let's say that duration right this is going to be our first one i'm going to say data wow and i'm going to say duration over here we're going to say that this is going to be like let's say five seconds right so if we save it and i refresh you can see that this one is only bouncing right now because it takes five seconds to bounce the big one right so maybe let's uh over here the slide in left i'm sorry the flip one let's just get rid of it so we can only see this one big one and the zoom in also i'm just gonna leave it so we save and again you see the bouncing is happening because it's five seconds right and another thing that i would want to do is let's say for this one again i'm just going to say flip but in this time i want to add um let's say what do we want a delay right we want to add five seconds delay right so we add over here data wow and we would say delay and then we would write that on like three seconds right so it would happen but it wouldn't happen right away right so this one is you can see that it's bouncing five seconds but this one happens fast but it has a delay of three seconds right so it doesn't do it actually right away right so you can see that it only does it right now now after that you can see that we have this option of data wow iteration so i'm just gonna uh, cut this over here and we're just gonna go to let's say number three over here this container and we're just going to paste this attribute over here over here this attribute and we're going to say that i don't know uh flip in i don't know x something like this let's check it out what happens right so you can see that it's pretty much flipping all the time right this is the third one that's flipping because i have the set the iteration to 10 right and obviously if i go over here and if i write just infinite is going to be infinite right so we just save it and we refresh and you can see that it's pretty much going to be doing this all the time right because we set it to infinite right this is our third uh, container that's all the time going to be flipping around like this right so let's just delete this so it's not as annoying but the real uh, nice thing about wowgs when it really shines is as we're starting to actually scroll up and down the page so let's refresh this let's save this and refresh this so it doesn't do it all the time and the wow gs like i said once we actually start uh, scrolling up and down a page and for that we actually use this 
a offset, right? So we go over here. Now we don't need to include this. It's obviously would be actually happening right away. So let me just show you that even if I just data wow, let's say again, wow, flip an X. I'm just going to copy this to let's say a couple of them again. All right, so we're just going to paste and we're going to paste a few more times. I'm going to paste it over here and we're going to paste it over here. All right, so now all of them, I'm just going to refresh. All right, you can see that this one right away starts doing this one does the flipping. Now, as I'm going, you can see that this one flips, right? Then this one flips, right? But you cannot really see because they right away, as I'm just scrolling, you can see that they're flipping. So this is where this data offset happens, right? You can see that by default, it's actually 10, right? So that means pretty much 10 pixels down as I'm scrolling it right away happens, right? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut this over here and we're gonna go where our flippers are happening. And we're just going to add them, right? And we're going to say that this is going to be paste. But what we're going to do is we're going to add 100 pixels, right? So actually only when we scroll 100 pixels, then a animation is happening. So we're just going to copy this. And we're going to again add it over here. Another attribute. And paste it over here. Then we're going to go over here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm adding to all of them. Paste it over here. Paste it over here. And we're going to paste it over here. All right. So now we have all of them added this 100% offset. So if I save it over here, and you can see that there's some kind of mistake because you can see over here this S that I added. Because I wanted just to save it. And if we refresh, right? What's going to happen is that this one is doing four times, right? But as I'm scrolling down, you can see that as I'm scrolling, actually 100 pixels, right? Which is actually too much in this small one. It's not, maybe let's make it like 50. Right? Sorry, <laughs> a little bit overdid it. Or here, so where is it? Flip, 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 X. So let's say to like something like, I don't know, 40, right? So it's not 100. 40, blah, 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 40, and blah, 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 where's 100, 40, and here's going to be 40 also, right? So let's save this and refresh, and now you can see that they're only going to be flipping over here, right? So these ones bounce, whatever, they do their stuff, but, well, they actually work because I didn't do it over here. But as I'm actually scrolling up and down a page, and again, I messed it up, sorry. Let's refresh the third time. You can see that these ones bounce down, right? If I make this screen bigger, right? But is, if I go over here, you can see that these ones start flipping, right? And this one starts flipping, and this one starts flipping, right? So that's a weird thing. I guess 100 was too much, 40 is not enough, right? So maybe let's do something like 80. Or, or let's say 60, and this is going to be another 60, and this is going to be another 60, and this one's 60, and this one's 60. So let's save this. Let's go back. Let's go all the way to the top, refresh. Now these ones do their thing. This one bounces five later. This one flips it in. Now if I go over here, you can see that this one is doing only as I'm scrolling, right? Again, if I go over here, this one does it as I'm scrolling. This one does it as I'm scrolling. So you get an idea how actually both of them work really nice, well together. If we have a animated and wow GS. Um, this is going to be it for this video, guys. We actually covered how we can download, how we can actually use a bootstrap extension to do over here. This adding of CDN. And we covered with WowGS. So this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next video.